morning, everyone. It's Marianne from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. So I just got the most hysterical email. Uh, one of our retirees happened to bump into a friend of hers who's an active firefighter. And he, um, she had said to him, hey, if, you know, if you, I haven't seen you on the Facebook page. You know, have you been, you know, keeping up to date with what's been going on, you know, with this healthcare thing? And he goes, yeah, you know, I'm really kind of worried about, you know, this healthcare problem. And I heard that they're renegotiating the active plans and everyone's really being silent on it. You know, and the union keeps saying that there's that girl running the retiree organization and she's a nut and she shouldn't be listened to. So. Uh, Andy Ansbro, um, I am honored that you are calling me a nut because the one thing you're not telling your members is as this is an organization over 50,000 people strong on an active social media platform uh, and news and newsletter um, uh, list serve. We have several attorneys. We have we keep winning in court. We are filing another lawsuit because. You were part of a scheme to lie to people and steal their health insurance. Um, and, and you may just say that your you know, vote was symbolic. You really haven't done anything to push back on the MLC from trying to rob retiree health care, which is current, affects current retirees. And it also sells off a benefit for your active employees who will be future retirees. And sadly, you're not going to recognize what you've done today or your lack of action until you're actually retired and realize what you did. Um, because it would never have been a situation that you would have sold off a retiree health benefit. Um, the other thing you're not telling your active employees is that you did this to prevent them from having to pay premium. So it's one thing for the active unions to keep saying, you know, your premium free health care is continued by the MLC agreement, but you don't tell them what the MLC agreements do. So now this is the second union, the PBA and prior to DC 37, um, with, are the two unions so far that keep telling their members that their health care is premium free, but doesn't tell them exactly how. And what this, what rolling in the 18 agreement, MLC agreement into your contracts requires. So, if, in fact, we are successful in court again, guess what, boys? You're still on the hook for $600 million a year because none of you fought back on the MLC, uh, their leadership or their voting structure or anything, and it's not by a lack of us telling you how to do it. We've told you what to do. None of you are doing it, and we just don't understand why. So you're allowing yourselves to be bullied, your unions to be bullied, and your members to be raped from your health benefits that we all earned. And that's okay by you, but it's not okay by us. See, we don't, unfortunately, as retired persons, we don't have a seat at the negotiating table and you guys don't even allow us in the room to educate you what the hell you're doing wrong. If that makes me a nut, then so be it. I'm a happy nut then because I'm the one that's on the right side of this. You guys aren't and you're not going to listen to it because you don't want to admit that you screwed up and made a mistake. Hey, it's okay. We're going to keep reminding you and we're going to keep list telling your actives and hope hopefully they will listen because what we've been saying to them is your active worker plans are under negotiation right now. What side of that are you on? When the MLC comes back and says to you, hey, guys, we just got to eliminate all your choices of plans. No longer will you have 11 choices of health care plans. You're going to have two. Then what are you going to do? <clears throat> and when your PPO looks like an HMO, what are you going to tell them then? So you need to step up and remember who labor is and what labor does and stop selling yourselves out and stop selling us out. We're not going to stop. We're, we're not going to stop. You need to stop selling off our health care and you need to stop lying to them. I might be a nut, but I'm a good nut. And it's okay, Andy. I wear that with pride. You have a great day, brother.